I am Teresa Greenfield 2099, and I have come from the future to the past to warn my past self, Teresa Greenfield, that I was in trouble. Together, Teresa Greenfield and Teresa Greenfield 2099 will save Iowa, because that's what they're trying to be assigned for. And then she goes over and she's like, "We have to save you." Make I sure mean. You're your you yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. You just like whispered. No, good because. Like, Would you shut your mouth? <laughs> I'm doing fucking Teresa Greenfield anthology here. Okay. okay. <laughs> Teresa Greenfield has come from the future to stop Trump Supreme from ruling all of Iowa, not America. <laughs> In the future, he owns Iowa, but not America. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. The future's I'm weird, and she's you. like, "What happened to your face?" And she's like, "Trump happened to my face." And then, uh, <laughs> and then they try to get away, but at the same time, on the other side of the map, who appears? The uh, time travelers from the future follow Joni, uh, fucking Teresa Greenfield, 2099. God, I have so many characters. Okay, and Trump Supreme, the leader of Iowa, not America, who has suspiciously longer hair, even though he's now 90 years of age. <laughs> and he has laser vision and can also fly. Press the silent for your thing. Well, it's it's because it's plugged into my p controller. I know. I'm trying to stay silent. Oh, so oh okay. Yeah. Thing. Joni Ernst is like, why have we come to this wretched time, where I still have the same exact abilities as I did before? And he's like, there's no reason you should have told me about your abilities. He's a demon. In the future, all people who wear suits wear capes, and all people who... So I can give her a cape? I can give her a fucking cape? Christ. Will you let me finish? Alright. <laughs> yes. Cape. And he's wearing jammas because he's lazy. <laughs> he gets his power solely from the toilet. And when he's not on the toilet, he's shitting out his mouth. Like he always does, and always has done. And he also has laser eyes. Did I mention that? Did I mention his fucking laser eyes? No, you didn't mention Okay. Yeah. Gotta mention it. Trump is like, we have to, we have to stop Teresa Greenfield 2099. And he's like, why, why would she be 2099? She would be just normal time period to us. And he's like, you get it, we have to fucking kill her, alright? Enough with the specifics, Joni Ernst. Fuck, you're pulling my goddamn hair. Knock it off. Fucking Joni Ernst and her bullshit. And she's like, what? And he says, he says, oh, I didn't say anything. Okay, and then they fly off. Trump goes to scout because he's the only one that could fly. Because he knows. Because <laughs> he knows that, uh, <laughs> that Teresa Greenfield 2099 can't, can't fly anymore. He took that power from her. Find the devil ears. So he makes a message out of a T. He tries to, but he can't spell, which makes it harder for him. And she's also searching everywhere. She's like, where the fuck is Teresa Greenfield? I will alter the timeline to find her. Oh yeah. And Joni Ernst 2099 wears headphones because in the future she listened to so many Teresa Greenfield ads, she went deaf. She went full on deaf. Now she has to wear those in order to hear. And she also was wearing pajamas. Because she is a businesswoman. And Congress people in the future wear pajamas. Where is Teresa Greenfield? And then out of nowhere. <sighs> God damn it. Out of fucking nowhere. Who does she see? The young Teresa Greenfield. And is being chased by future Joni Ernst. Joni Ernst 2099 is like, we should basically kill her past self. Because like that's what every fucking movie does. So why not do that? But she forgot that she has powers. She used to have powers. Oh, get launched. Oh, fuck you. Young Teresa Greenfield escapes to find her future self, which uh, for some reason they got he separated like off screen. Oh, that sucks. Oh, horrible. At least you know how to do it now. <laughs> she figures the highway is the safest place. In the middle of the fucking road is the safest place to meet someone. Teresa Greenfield 2099 appears. Again. Because they got separated off screen, remember? And there, she's like, we have to make more political ads. So you have to make so many fucking political ads that you literally make people deaf. 
<laughs> lose their fucking hearing. I don't care if we if we have to blow up the whole fucking country. These they're like, why do you have TNT? And, and says younger Teresa Greenfield, and the other one's like, it's not TNT, it's physical, hand touchable, political ads that you can touch and feel. You will experience pain, love, loss <laughs> with my political ads. <clears throat> I don't know why that's so important. This person is going to experience Teresa Greenfield if you would just stop fucking driving away. Bitch, what a fucking bitch. We need to get at least one person to get a Teresa Greenfield physical ad if they would just stop moving their fucking vehicle for five seconds. Uh oh. We've God damn you, fucking Teresa Greenfield. Young Teresa, stay your ass there, okay. Stay where you are. <clears throat> you will experience political ads. And they walk away with as it explodes because that's like apparently fucking cool. Even though they're that's why they wear capes, because they don't shred their backs into nothing. And then while they escape to the railroad, they get separated again because apparently they, you know, they live their entire life in a cornfield, but they can't walk two seconds. Ugh, ugh, Trump Supreme's like, I'm gonna destroy you. And she's like, you already did, look at my face. And now they're fighting. Lasers. Trump lasers. That are impervious. <gasps> Teresa Greenfield is impervious to his lasers. What a fucking plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> And now Teresa Greenville at the upper fucking hand. I guess Joni Ernst should know or not. No. She doesn't need to know. She's scarred. <laughs> Trump is invincible, but for some reason so is jo so is Teresa Greenfield. Confused. Uh who interrupts them? But <laughs> Christ. <laughs> the one and only Joni Ernst, the one from the past. And she's like who are you? I have powers, and I'm a political person, so I have to kill you. But I have to make it look like uh, I did—I was never here, because I'm a liar and I fucking—I'm a horrible person, and I'm gonna jump in this fire because I'm a terrible person. And then a uh, future Joni Ernst obviously has to stop her, or else she's gonna die. And tell her that she's not a horrible person; she's an extremely horrible person. And then they're like, "Ah, oh, okay, all right. So we're both horrible people." Because we're the same person. And then... Yeah. They have a conversation that leads to nowhere. Leading to crocheting and such. It's an anthology. Fuck you. <laughs> Teresa Greenfield. Joni Ernst. Fucking anthology. <laughs> it's not a biography. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're talking about this stuff passionately, too. Well, I, I make stories. I've been making stories. I, it's like, the fact that it's a story is what, it's what gets me going. I don't even care about the characters. <laughs> <laughs> so, Teresa Greenfield, off-screen, was given information that was important to the audience but will never be revealed. Because fuck you. And so she has to go to the most powerful, ancient person of their time, who is also extremely old. And lives on Hexagon Tower. Oh, there it is. Hexagon Tower. I see it. Are you fucking serious right now? The Legos are in the shape of, of a fucking hexagon. I'm gonna kick someone's ass. <laughs> fucking Hexagon. H. That can only stand for Aunt May, which doesn't have an H in it. S you know, she's Hexagon. Oh my god. Aunt May. You're your own plot twist. I am. I'm getting off on it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's fucked. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Who interrupts them? Trump Supreme. Oh. <laughs> Aunt May is susceptible to his things, though. And she's gonna... They're fighting, you know, obviously. And they're fighting. And Trump is, you know, surprisingly getting, like... He is not in, like, trouble at all. Why is he invincible? That's wrong. I hate it so much that he's invincible. And then, oh shit, I punched him off the edge. Is that the end for Trump Supreme? Hopefully. Or a new reign for a, for a, for Aunt May? She's going to take over and become... They're all demonic. 
Aunt May the God. That doesn't sound right either. Okay. Um. Right out of the story. Now, uh. No, I'm looking for the characters. Teresa Greenfield, there we go. Okay. You know, I don't like Ray. And this. Like while they were doing that, Teresa Greenfield and past Teresa Greenfield escaped. Okay, there she is. They escaped, and she has to follow the future one because the other one doesn't know shit. And she's they're stealing from banks because she's actually not rich. She just tells people that, but this is how she became rich. She caused mutiny. Which I don't know what mutiny is, but I assume it's criminal activity. I'm going to fucking lose my mind. And... This? Work! All this time remaking this character. And now. I'm in a mill, I'm busy. Okay. And now Teresa Greenfield 2099 rides off in the sunset to have another story of her own. Oh, yeah, she has to find the fucking eye. She has to abandon her past self so she can find future Joni Ernst because they had a conversation. And they were just basically stuck there forever, talking about crocheting and shit that doesn't matter. So she has to drive all the way back, now that she's defeated Trump. And it's always dark. It's always fucking dark. Constantly. And... Teresa Greenfield, 2099, arrives at the destination after a long drive. So I don't have to say anything. She thinks. That's what she thinks. This map, by the way, is so fucking big that it has entirely a different section. And it has a fucking highway. Tell me what Lego game has a goddamn highway leading to another map. I'll answer that for you. None. And this is where she meets and has the final battle between Joni Ernst. Pick up this. Hmm? Play, play Joni Ernst. Or Tracy Greenfield, wherever you want to put this part. Uh, this one. 20. Uh, you'd have to speak very loudly. No, wait, no, wait. Hold on. I have to be you. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. <coughs> They're having a moment to, to understand things. Cause they... Junior yeah, you're Junior Ernst. Oh yeah, here it is. This one? Here you go. Plug that into there. And speak directly into this fucking thing. Directly? Like, put it almost in your goddamn mouth. <coughs> you can put it in your ear and it will literally sound like the thing. Oh, but make like sure... This? Yeah. What I did is I wrapped it around my head. Make sure it's like, almost like, on your mouth. Joni Ernst is getting ready. There you go, <laughs> there you go. Now they'll be able to hear you. This one? It, did it say microphone plugged in? Yeah, it did. Okay. Am I yeah. playing this one? Yeah, you're that person. Okay, you go over there. Do you there. realize I have no See clue that? how to even, like, do See this? See that circle over there? You move the camera with this. Yeah. You walk oh. with this. <laughs> I don't know how to play. Ah, uh, fucking eating goo. You press square, like. and you, uh, just Ooh. shoot. You hold circle. To have a uh, <laughs> hold circle to have the shield power, because that's like your main ability. Oh, that's hold circle. There you go. I'm invincible. Fuck you. All right, let's do this again. Let's oh shit! Go stand over by that giant circle in the city. Eh. Look around and find a giant circle in the city and stand by it so I can have my scene. <laughs> Oh, that glowing thing? Go look in the other direction. God damn it. You and Koto always look in the opposite directions. This look one? behind you, yes. Giant circle. Oh. Yes. Okay. Thank God. You can also turn invisible. Okay, here, I'll be faster like this. Now I'm gonna finally go meet Joni Ernst 2099 to defeat her once and for all. Whee! I get money! 
Joni Ernst. Money! From my time period. I know you're here. Money! That's not what she says. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be. Money is, like, basically of no value at this point. Oh. Yeah. But that well, is... that's depressing. <laughs> yep. I just collected all that shit for nothing. Pretty much. <laughs> I have no clue where I'm looking. Ernst. Are you throwing a fit? Here, take no. this. Take your beds. Take your beds. You're gonna fucking just, die, Joni Ernst. Just take your beds. In the future, you scarred me, but I take scarred you. How ironic. You fucking piece of shit, Joni Ernst. You'll never get away. We defeated Trump. Trump Supreme was defeated by Aunt May. Take your anti ad meds. Is that how you got your face looking all horrible? No, take your meds. Say something other than that. Take your meds. <laughs> Fuck your you horrible need, dialogue. You need your <laughs> anti. <laughs> you need your anti ad meds. Your, She's not a fucking you're doctor. You're monologuing again. <laughs> you're monologuing again. That's what I do. So I'm good I have at no it. fucking clue where you are. Yeah, I know. Point. I'm recharging my hearts. Because I'm like a fucking god in Lego games. Okay, so if I kill someone, can I get more hearts? What the fuck do you think I just did? Oh, hey! Who's oh, this? Shit. Yeah! I don't know who that is, but they look fucking awesome. I'm guessing it's a water character. I just wanted to kill someone. Come on, let's go. Okay, here we go. Alright, time to go back to our battle. There you are, you little fuck. Fucking Joni Ernst, you're gonna die. <laughs> Piece of shit. You're gonna Would you stop throwing your fit? Take this, take this, take fuck this, take you. this. Fuck no, you, fuck Joni you. Ernst, fuck you're you. dead. Fuck you. And now I will ride off. In the sunset, knowing I have saved. No, fuck off, you're dead. <laughs> Stop trying to kill me. You're dead. I'm invincible now, I'm on a car, see? Now. I can't fucking move, oh. Teresa Greenfield, 2099, rides off back into the future, knowing that she saved the past. But then she would actually fade away, or she would be stuck in this timeline forever, which means I can make her. I can use her. Shit, I'm her. trying to freaking drive. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to do an epilogue. Really? Of course. You're always monologuing. It's not a monologue, it's an epilogue. You're right. Oh. Epilogue is the end of a story. The story I'm trapped. The story. And it was at this time that future, I mean, Teresa Grant for the past had no knowledge of what happened to her future self. Am I physically incapable of running? So you, I can, you can get like, your, I have to like bunny hop my way no, over to you, wherever you, you are. No, you can't do anything other than what you're doing. You can get in a vehicle like I'm about to do. Yeah, well I can't fucking drive in Lego World. Neither can Coda and he still fucking drives my bullshit. Alright. Hey, what if I can steal Teresa a police Greenfield car? Greenfield gets in her mobster vehicle, cause that's what it's called apparently. And she drives away. I End just kicked a police Ther officer out of his own vehicle. Yeah, damn. End of Teresa Greenfield monologue. I mean, fuck you. You made me say monologue, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's the just... end of fucking Teresa Greenfield anthology. Kill yourself. <laughs> Number one. In case I feel like making more of this bullshit. <laughs>